There's no risk of those wagra wagra sounds, okay? You are just comfortable. I hope it's just the ladies in the house because I want to say something important. <laughs> I hope it's just the ladies in the house. Okay, if you're a guy, no problem. If you're a man, you can relate this to your sister or wife, you know, share the information. We all need all the genders to watch this video. So guys, the latest now is that, let me spill the secret and relax. Let me spill the secret. The latest now <laughs> is that most ladies, most mothers now, most mothers that I'm sure of, they use diapers as pads because diapers seem to be more comfortable and also stays for a longer period of time because these days, most mothers are always hooked up either with harsh shots or with wet okay so in this video i'm going to show you how they use the diaper and also differentiate the diaper with the normal pad we have and also tampoon yeah there's one called tampoon i'm going to attach the picture here for you to see for those who do not know what tampoons are tampoon tampoon anyone so before we get down into the video welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video you guys don't know how grateful i am whenever you click on this video okay just keep up the good work keep up the good work and if you're seeing this face for the first time i am nelly a youtuber based in Uyo, but from Imo State. I know some of you will be like diaper what diaper what <laughs> yes and I will show you an illustrative video on how to use the diaper for your in place of the pad then when you watch the video I will now discuss about the advantages and the disadvantages of each of them okay so that's the video. So guys, in using diaper, this well, this one is um, size 4. So you can use size 2 or size 1, any size of your choice. All you have to do is to tear it open to, re to remove the elastic by the sides. My people, to tear diapers is not easy because this diaper is expensive. Moreover, I won't be using it. So, I still manage to tear them like that. So, so, this is the point where you will tear the diaper. Trust me, if you tear the diaper, nothing is going to leak because the diaper has... A, that one is just an elastic that is attached to the main diaper. So, when you tear it open, the other side is still very, very much closed. Very, very much closed, you see? From the video, yes, that means even if you wear this diaper, it's still going to um, uh, cause no leakage. Yeah, so when you tear it off, so imagine me tearing off the other parts, this is what it's going to look like. And it is so comfortable, very, very comfortable. Then compare it with the size of, and this is long. This is um heavy flow pad, yes. The other one is heavy flow pad, and this is your your diaper pad. So, which of them would you really love to go for? For mommy who experience heavy flow, and while disposing your diaper pad, the elastic that you cut out that is what you use to wrap the diaper pad. Having watched the video, you can see the difference is glaring. Yeah. So let's talk about the advantages of using a diaper. The advantages of using this diaper is that you can stay a whole long night, like eight hours long night. Why? I mean, why sleeping in the night without being disturbed or perturbed to wake up to you know change and clean up. Yeah. Another advantage is that diaper is very comfortable it is made from cotton 
you know something that is made for babies it it has already been designed to suit and comfort give your baby that comfort so that is the kind of comfort you will also get while using the the diaper yes so no stains no leakage no room for for irritants yeah no room for heat so itching comfortability check 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 all right but the disadvantages is that it has no wings diaper has no wings that you can attach under your underwear your panties okay so diaper doesn't have the wings that will hold on to the undies okay and therefore it can also make it shift up and down you know if you don't wear it with a good undie so that is one disadvantage i know about um diapers and another one is that diapers are expensive man from that video you can see that i couldn't even hear it oh boy oh boy diapers has diapers is on the high side now yeah something diaper that we used to get at maybe let me not just get down in sudan okay maybe it's just nigeria but diaper is expensive even if you have to use diapers, it's best at night, yes, or when the flow is very heavy, that's first, second day, yeah, that is when I would advise you to use diaper, then on the light days, you can go for the pad, it comes to pad, pad has waves, that's an advantage, so when you fix it, it is there, okay. another advantage of using pad is that pad is cheap yes compared to diapers yeah pad is cheap compared to diapers okay but the disadvantage is that most pads you, you have to wake up like two times or once to clean up depending on um, the kind of flow you have someone that has a low flow would, wouldn't bother using diaper okay but if you have a heavy flow, you should consider using diaper at night, okay? And the disadvantage is that most of the pads, some of the pads, let me not say most, some of them can cause itching, irritating, mm, um, irritate your skin, cause heat, and all those stuff. So for the tampoons, I've not used tampoon before not as if i've not seen one but man i just get scared using the tampoon but i according to what i've heard and what i've researched tampoons our tampoons are good tampoons are very comfortable you will not even know that something is going on down there with tampoons you can go on swimming you can go on exercising go gym carry everything comfortably without um checking for leakage or checking for you know those wagre wagre sounds wagre wagre sounds and stuff <laughs> you know those wagre sounds that pads do usually make yes so there's no risk of those wagre wagre sounds okay you are just comfortable and all that and on the disadvantage part of the tampons, some people say it can give you toxic shock. That's when you wear it for a long time. While um, some theory will say um, even if you wear it for six to eight hours, there's nothing like toxic shock getting to you, okay? So this toxic shock syndrome getting to you. So I hope I've come to the rescue of those women who usually have heavy periods, okay? Those who have, because of their heavy periods, they cannot go about their day-to-day -day routine or activities. So I hope this video is helpful. If it's helpful, please do me a favor, share the video to your sisters, wives, friends and family even enemies okay so i'll see you guys in my next video for now bye